the book questers, it is I, Aaron the book Quester. Today I introduce you to this almighty book, Fuzzy Mud by Lewis Sekar himself, author of Holes, Some the Angeline, The Boy Who Lost His Face, and many more. And here we are with one of the one of the newest books that he has written. This book is about, well, one day a girl named Tamaya has to go in the woods. Now, like, woods, seriously? I mean, it doesn't sound like they had to go in the dungeon or something like that, but it was actually as bad as that, bad as that for the school restricted the woods for some reason, for classified reason. And when Tamaya, and, and the reason why she was taking that detour, she, ta, so Tamaya and Marshall, they had to go in the woods. Um, mostly because, mostly because Marshall had managed to pick a fight with Chad Hiligas, and he's like the school bully, the kid you want to stay away from. So, basically, they went in the woods to take a shortcut to avoid the fight that was waiting for them on the road. But in the woods, they, they see mud, mud that is, not like real, not like normal mud, but it was fuzzy, so fuzzy mud. This fuzzy mud was not like normal normal mud, and it will be the problem for the rest of the story. And Chad manages to find Marshall and Tanaya, Tamaya, who, are, who had finally got lost in the woods. And and the great Chad Hilligas came, and he came to beat the snot of him out of Marshall. That was when Tamaya threw, uh, threw a ball of the disgustingly, somewhat weird fuzzy mud to Chad's face, and later on her hands would be covered in blisters. And what in the world would that be? You see, the in the in the book in the in the book there are after some chapters there are interviews with a very classified interviews with the government and some scientists, and they had managed to make ergies, uh, a man-made cell organism that would that could replace gasoline when burned, and that was a message of hope. But then, these ergies mutated. You see, like these microism got multiplied, multiplied, multiplied by two and two and two. And when there were one, there were two. And then a few hours later, there were four. And there were, there were eight, sixteen, and so on. Times two, times two, times two, more and more and more. But when this happened, a mutation could happen. And this mutation could make the argies that could originally not survive and the oxygen survive. And there are billions and billions of RG in making procedure. And they were all multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. Which meant that ergies, mutated ergies, could go into the environment and create something entirely new. And this was the fuzzy mud. It was pure luck when scientists found a cure. It was not high-tech scientists with lab coats and and uh, microscopes who found the cure to this dangerous fuzzy mud that cut, that the ergies made blisters on your skin, made you bleed, and it was absolutely disgusting. But the cure was rather, um, rather surprising. A veterinarian found out that turtles weren't affected by the ergies, and soon she found some things in the turtle that uh, that was not affected by the er the deadly fuzzy mud as it was called so so there she she started to inject turtle vaccine as it was called to those two poor animals who got the fuzzy mud disease or whatever it's called and then they were healed tamaya was the first to be experimented on human and when when she was cured well the world was ours. The fuzzy, the deadly fuzzy mud, it was cured. And it was not Tamaya's fault that everyone got 
got infected and bad. No, no, no. It is actually a warning that that happened and it was part brought into notice by Tamaya a few weeks earlier. And then, as it might happen, some person might have stepped on some fuzzy mud and went to Canada and we would have a global threat. And, uh, and as they later found out, these ergies, as they are called, couldn't survive in the cold environment. And, uh, and someone like from Egypt, for example, could step on some ergies and go to some hot, humid place and the ergies would never die out. And that would be a big, big, big problem, wouldn't it? And Tamaya was kind of like the accidental hero like thing, like Peter Parker suddenly getting bitten by a spider and becoming the all famous Spider Man. But it's not like that. It's much more different and it's highly enjoyable. Just like, it doesn't turn out to be a thriller as I kind of expected by the time I got into the middle of the book. It, it's a happy ending, so don't worry about that kind of thing. And I guess read the book. And like always, a bookquester and a bookquester.